That's right, Island Hoppers. We're going to take you all across Thailand from Bangkok all the way up to the north. We're going to go to Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. We're going to head back down south to Phuket. We're going to go to Koh Samui. We're going to go to Krabi. We're also going to go to Pattaya. You're going to see a lot of Thai food in this video. You're going to see seafood, curry, and street food. Let's get going. Mm. What's going on everybody? It's Island Hopper TV. Today we're going to do a Thailand street food hunt. Let's do it. First stop is the capital of Thailand, Bangkok. We're in Icon Siam. This is a brand new shopping mall. It basically takes you back to old Siam, floating markets and the food, but you're in a modern mall. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to explore around this food market here at Icon Siam and show you the food. So they got some noodle here. Right next door they've got squid. Octopus. Yummy. As you can see, they've got a lot of seafood here. They've got lobster, shrimp. They've also got the octopus on a skewer. Big soup? I'll try this. Play like soup. Oh yeah. Um, small, you have small size or big size only? One size. One size fits all. Okay. 100, okay. Yeah. And, and the water, you have water? Water. Yeah. Uh, one, one, one. Okay, one, one. Yeah, Let's try it. Yeah. Spicy? Yes. Spicy, okay. A little bit spicy. Okay, okay. A little bit spicy. Not too much. Okay, 100. Well, it looks like they've got like some sort of like liver or something. I don't know what that is. Maybe a heart, a liver. I'm not sure. The soup itself is delicious, but I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's some sort of uh, pig or cow uh, organ soup, but pretty good. One of the main things I was telling myself while I was walking around here is be open-minded to trying different things. Uh, but there was definitely some stuff in there that I didn't feel comfortable uh, eating, like the liver, the heart, or the kidneys. I just don't know why I'm not into that stuff. It's a damn. Also, if you check in the link description below, we will have timestamps so you can bounce around from location to location to see what the food scene is like as we continue to show you around Icon Siam here. So what you're looking at here is going to be more of the fruit and vegetarian dishes like mango sticky rice. That's a very popular dish that you'll find here in Bangkok. Also you'll see that things are wrapped in like a banana leaf kind of uh, portion. And then you'll also see lots of coconut also. And we're going to try some of this food here. And those balls you see, those are usually like a fish ball or a pork ball, sometimes even chicken balls. And they usually put those on a skewer over a grill or they'll actually put them in your soup. So it'd be like a fish ball soup. Also, just for a frame of reference, 100 baht is around three US dollars. 
Oh, what do you call? Oh, it's like Cajun. River shrimp with sauce? Looking so good. Oh. On a stick. Tradition. Try one, one, this one. Okay. I like sweet, sweet, sweet durian. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Number one. So we're gonna try some durian. There's two different types of durian. She said to try this one on this side here. So never really tried durian. I just told her I wanted something sweet. But I think it's going to be a little sour. I'll let you know. Now the thing with durian is this is the fruit that when you go into the hotels they tell you that you actually cannot bring this fruit into your room. I don't know why, maybe it's because of how it rots or ferments, but this is the one of the fruits that are basically forbidden from most hotels. Okay, durian. Well, I've never had durian before, so I've heard of it. Let's see. It's like a yogurt. It's like a, imagine a uh, already processed fruit yogurt. That's what it tastes like. It's very uh, milky, creamy. And sweet. It's not sour at all. So I thought it was going to be sour, but I was wrong. It's also kind of like eating meat, but when it gets in your mouth, it melts. It's a cheese hot dog. Hot dog, yeah. It's filled. It's filled with cheese only. And what's this one? Hot dog, cheese, potato. That one? No, no, yeah. no, no. Huh? One. Yeah, what? As you could probably imagine, I was getting really full. I was eating lots of food. I wanted to come here and try a variety of different foods, but the problem was I was really starting to load up on the calories and the carbs here by each stall having so much food and I didn't want to waste any of it. So I was kind of limited on how much stomach space I had. And just across the Chow Fryer River is Chinatown. We're gonna explore around here now. You can see here in Chinatown, a lot of it is just open air stalls. They are gonna have a variety of different cuisines that you can have, not just Chinese food, but for the most part, you can expect Chinese orientated foods here. Sure, there's gonna be a little bit of Thai mixed in, and these open air markets are all across Bangkok actually. So you're gonna see a lot of this Peking duck. Basically, they just chop it up as you go. So if you wanted a piece here, they would just dice it up right in front of you. And it's really common to see this kind of barbecue with skewers going on all across Bangkok. So expect to see a lot of this. You can see 20 baht for one of these skewers. That's literally like 70 cents. 
What you're looking at here is actually called enoki mushroom. Typically, it's wrapped in a bacon. It is a Chinese Sichuan food, but they also have done this here in Bangkok. And what you're seeing here is roasting chestnuts or roasting nuts inside of a rotary type machine. And it's very common to get these roasted nuts right there alongside all the other street foods. Now to a foreigner watching this for the very first time without ever being in Bangkok, they might see this and think that it's an anxiety inducing environment with lots of chaos. But actually when you're there, it's a very calming effect. Everything is an organized chaos and it doesn't really make you nervous or anxious at all. It's really kind of amazing. And I would say mostly the reason it's so calming and works so well is because of the people. The people have a great work ethic and that work ethic basically is to serve the customer. So they're always very focused on their stalls, the food that they're creating, and they're very much about the customer, and it's a mutual respect that's given while walking around these food stalls and these food markets. So we're up here at the mall on Terminal 21, level five. Uh, you use the food court here, you get a Terminal 21 card. Uh, you can only put 500 baht on each card, but that's gonna get you a lot. I mean, food here for just one soup, 30 baht. So you get 500 baht, uh, they only take cash. I got two cards, one for me and one for my friend, 500 each, let's go eat. All right guys, so we are on Kawasan Road now. We're gonna go explore right around here. And you can see right behind me, we got an interesting looking crocodile on the grill. So they say if you wanna eat a scorpion here, it uh, it's like an aphrodisiac. Eat everything. Oh, it's good for your muscle. What about the spider, big spider? Maybe you, you can count with you. Yes. Good taste. Good. Buy it more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Buy suit. Khao San Road definitely has some exotic cuisine here between the Cayman that's grilling on the rotisserie and these scorpion and tarantula kind of spiders, I would say definitely take an open mind if you're gonna walk Kalsan Road for food. Yeah, that right there is a crocodile that's just basically on rotisserie. That's a real crocodile, not fake. Uh, in case you're wondering, that is actually just steak and some pork. We didn't eat any of that crocodile this go round. And for this one, we're actually going to do some Korean barbecue in Bangkok. Okay, after, after, after. Thank you. 
And some other foods. Obviously, you've got some lobster tail right here on the grill. We're also going to be looking at some fried rice. Many different types of rolls. They have veggie rolls. They have other types of spring rolls. Some pork rolls, egg rolls, you name it. They're going to have all that in terms of rolls. And then, obviously, for breakfast, you can get everything from an English breakfast to an American breakfast to a Thai breakfast. And it just depends on where you're at. They also have these floating markets where they're going to have some food right along the market side. And these eggs right here with mushroom and bacon, that's basically an English style breakfast. And here is a look at that floating market. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to head down towards the coast. If Bangkok had a beach, this would be it. Patia City is basically Bangkok's beach. <laughs> You have sauce, chili? No sauce. No sauce. No sauce. No sauce. No sauce. Okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, hot, 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 hot. I got some street food here in Pattaya. This is called pork, pork tongue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's try. Hot, hot, hot. Really mm. good. Mm. Very good. Oh, we good, good. Good mm -hmm. Good try. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And if you don't want to do the grill, you can obviously do fried skewers, you can do fried shrimp, you can do whatever you want fried, really. They're going to have everything fried, of course. And then you're going to have these like drunken noodle kind of dishes. By the way, when I'm eating Thai food, I actually like to get this chili and kind of like soy sauce dish. I don't know exactly the name, but it's, it's commonly served at most restaurants. So it's like a chili in this like black sauce and it's really good. I get it with every single dish I have. To be honest with you guys, it seemed like I was eating a lot of English breakfast at this point in Thailand. You can see the bacon, the hash brown, the eggs, and the beans with the mushrooms and the sausage. It seemed like that was what was mostly available, especially in the tourist areas. Now, if you got outside the tourist areas, you're gonna be eating more of that kind of uh, hard boiled egg with rice, that's really what a Thai breakfast is, but it seemed like I was always around these English breakfasts. I would say Patia City had more of that kind of foreigner, corporate restaurants mixed in with some of these street food stalls, of course. But for the most part, Patia had a lot of variety of international cuisines. I only put this in here just to show you guys what to really expect in each place. Now we're going to head north to Chiang Mai, where you're not going to see the corporate stuff. Well, they got a food court down here, so we're probably gonna get some food, but we gotta see what we're gonna get. Chiang Mai does a night market. They also do a weekend market. We're at the weekend market right here, which just so happens to also be a night market. And around here, you're gonna get a lot of variety of cuisine from different parts of Asia, really. Well, I got noodles with crispy pork belly. So we're here at the Chiang Mai Sunday Market. I got uh, basically pork belly soup. You can see it's right here, noodles with crispy pork belly. Got a little quail egg in there. And uh, I don't know what this is, some sort of bread. Mmm. Looks good. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
ิ้นลูกขนมจีขนมจีพูจ๋าจ้าตั้งตนะคะโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้ดบอลโค้
Hey, you know, for 30 baht, which is less than a dollar, you can get a coconut. This is delicious and it's cold. Thank you. Yeah, so after you finish drinking the coconut water, you can actually eat the coconut meat. There's a nice big piece right there. Okay, one more tequila. Well, you know it's a fresh lobster when you still got these uh, tentacles on it. I haven't had a lobster in like two years, so we'll see. And here I am putting the Thai chili on. And now I'm putting Thai chili on oysters. I really like Thai chili. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of garlic in my life. Ah, and all you coffee lovers, have no fear. They've got plenty of coffee selection. You can see this coffee here, but really some of the best coffee you'll ever have anywhere. The baristas out here know what they're doing. Chicken tenders with gloves at the Korean restaurant here in Phuket. Uh, hydration. Need that hydration on a hot day. Tastes just like chicken. Mm. Green chicken. Good? Yeah, and out here on the beach, they've got these uh, Tokyo iced teas or Tokyo lemonade. It's got like four different alcohols, tequila, um, vodka, and guess what it tastes like? Like a green otter pop. That's what it tastes like. And some fruit to finish the day. Can I get one, one? Yes, you can get more if you want. Bon appetit. Oh, those are parmesan? Are those parmesan fries? Oh, I don't know. What is this? Tofu. Tofu? I take one tofu? What is this? Uh, chicken. I take one chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're getting some street food. You can see it's got some tofu and a little chicken ball. They've also got fish balls, hot dogs, and some sausages. 
Yes, yeah, soft fish. Spicy. Spicy good. Spicy sauce. So all four of these sticks right there were 40 baht. That's about a dollar ten. All right, guys, we are here at Bantai. We're going to walk around and see what kind of nightlife is going on. Coconut ice cream. <laughs> yeah. This for you, sir. Mmm. Good. Wow, amazing. Yummy. Coconut ice cream. Coconut ice cream. Hey, you can eat that, huh? Mmm. Eat food. Oh, you can eat. Yeah, you can eat. Very good. good. Coconut ice cream. By the way, guys, we were in Thailand for 40 days, so you could see, yeah, we ate a lot of food. Tenderloin steak. Okay. Medium brow. Beautiful. This right here is called Thai Favorites. Chili. Chili. Vinegar. Vinegar, okay. Yeah. For Pad Thai? Yeah. Okay. Oh, chicken. What is this? Rambutan? Rambutan. How do you eat that? Yeah, it's my time. This is the one you buy. You just peel. Oh, yeah. I try this. Rambutan. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Are you the sit down? Uh, no, because yeah. our tour guide's over there. Okay, come. To take away, yes? Yeah, take away. Oh, It's like a lychee, that's what they say. Look at that. Put that in your cocktail. Mm. Delicious. They don't call you Big Boss for nothing. Seafood. Well, just like in Louisiana, they do uh, seafood boil here. Uh, but here they give you gloves, which is good because, you know, the garlic and the spices. But inside of here, you're going to see some pineapple. Obviously, you've got some garlic. You've got mussels and clams. Got some crab in the shell, more mussels. And then over here, you've got king prawn. I asked for king prawn instead of regular uh, shrimp. So, looks like we've got a potato right here. Other than that, that's basically everything. And I've got my Singapore sling. Nice drink. So I just ate a mussel and it had a little bit of sand inside the meat. That was one out of four. Three of them didn't have any sand inside the meat. One of them did. I was like, is that a pearl or a piece of sand? It was probably not a pearl.
and we found an Indian restaurant. So we had some Indian food for lunch with naan and tikka masala. Yeah, if you look right behind me here, you can see the Ray Avadi Grotto restaurant right here. So you can eat here if you're staying at the hotel. If not, you can't eat here. So cool grotto restaurant overlooking this entire bay. So we've just arrived here in Suratani from Prabi. We got dropped off at the Prawn Fraya. Got some prawns and rice. Perfect. Perfect hard boiled egg. That was fast. Well, I'm just gonna put a little soy sauce on there. Or whatever that sauce she gave me. Mmm. Spring cooked chicken egg here in Thailand. And now here we are at Shang Lai.
Now what we're going to do is we're going to head into the Shanghai Night Market. Let's go inside. What do you want to eat? What is he going to eat? This guy likes eating. I'm an eater. Ooh.
Hey, and if you're a cat lover, you got to go over here to Cat and Cup where you can basically hang out with cats as if you're at a coffee tea shop or a bar. And look at these people, they're having so much fun. Got a little fried egg here. Oh, cup and cup. All right guys, I know what you're thinking. Wow, this guy really tore up a lot of food. Yes, I had to do this because we planned to make this video. So I did eat a lot of food for you guys. Since I've been home, I've had to lose some of that weight, but that was a lot of eating that I did. And I did it for me, but I also did it for you. Thanks for watching. And if you guys enjoy this one, consider subscribing to this channel and we'll see you on the next one. Watch some more of these other Thailand videos. I'll put a, video, a full video to Bangkok and I'll also put a full video to Phuket.